Hi, this is Carla from the Charles County Public Library. This is Book Holding with Carla. June's Roses in Blooms, a Simple Vase with Roses um, tutorial. Needed for today, it would be a chunk of pages from a paperback that is 50 physical pages. And then we're going to fold a vase from that. For the roses, there'll be two different styles, and I will do those in just a moment. So let's do our vase. It's probably about 20, 30 minutes to fold this. I've went ahead a little bit and done some examples. Um, we've got two alternating folds, and that is simply in half and crease all the way down, crease and all the way up till you get the point. I'm sorry, it's up to the, had to relook at that, it's been a little while. Up to the, from the bottom edge up to make a point. And you just alternate those until you get them all folded, alternating pages. And when you do get them done, you'll have something like this. And our next step is to take those half folds and fold them without bending them like this. Just tuck behind so it makes the loop. And then you just tuck it. And we're going to do the rest of this one to get that part done. Let me see if I can grab this part so I can tilt down. So I'm just rolling that behind gently and tucking missed. The good thing is this is no glue is needed. I'm going to layer it down. So I'm going to roll it gently without creasing because you do want to keep, there we go, you do want to keep that nice folded look instead of a crease and you do all of those. Now when those are all done, so we've gone from alternating pages to rolling our half pages completely into the spine and tucking them in. And then we're going to actually take, so we've got rolled, completed, and we're going to take the pointed ones, also rolling. It goes rolled in, going upward, toward, this way, I use my, my body. So you're rolling it in, to where the bottom part, this part, will touch the spine. I'm so sorry, this is a little hard to show with the rolly bases, but it actually goes around one of your looped half pages and it just rolls in. I'm going to go ahead and finish this one and we'll have the vase completed. Like I said, it's not a hard one, it's just alternating the 50 pages with the two folds and then rolling them in. So that vase is now completed. And then when we get to the flowers, I've tucked some of these on some um, pipe cleaners, but I'm actually going to roll with um, floral tape and do some leaves and everything too. But let's talk a different rose than we've done before, and this is a quilled rose. So I have the strip of paper that is about one and a half centimeters wide. I just glued two pieces that I cut from a lightweight cardstock. Just glued them a little bit right there. And then we're going to quill this. This is all folding and it is really easy, but it does take a little, a little bit of practice. You're going to fold halfway down. Looks a little bit like a um, funny little triangle. That's like your tail. This is the piece that you're actually going to hold and you're going to roll that in, and then there is the part you hold. Then we're going to fold this part back, about a third of the, the length of it, and then we roll. Fold back and roll. And you just continue to do this holding on to that tail, and it will form one of these baby roses, right like this and these. It is a tight, quilled rose. They can't, they're not super big, but it is a nice little accent for any um, picture frame, um, vase, 
you can see how it's starting to show just a bit so I'm folding back and roll I'm gonna fold that back and roll and the good thing is when I get this done I can actually shape it a little bit more make it a little tighter a little looser but you're just tucking it back gives it that um, dimensional look to its um, petals and I'm still holding that tail so we're about almost halfway with the little rows I do have a glue gun fired up here beside just so I'll know it will hold fast and instant for these two roses but tacky glue Elmer's glue any glue will work if you just brace it while it is setting and it shouldn't take super long because it's only going to take two little pieces of glue here you can see how the little rose is forming I'm tucking and rolling I'm going to pause real quick and just shape a little not like I didn't like this piece too much but it's all that's a little better got it shaped tucking or rolling back Whoop. twist it okay I'm gonna so switch to this hold method now my tail is still back there but I'm just bracing my little rows it gets a little faster show down here so it is just bend that backwards and roll each Almost there. I don't know if anybody loves the rose roses blooming like I do, but the um, the colors that they can do and watching the stage of the buds to to the full bloom. Okay, I've got one more. And then we're going to glue it so down here to glue I'm going to put a little tiny bit of glue at that base part right there actually it's going to touch the glue to it because that would do it and I'm going to fold our tail over onto that and then this part will come over that too and that's where the second piece of glue would be I think I got it though but this is my little rose a little flattened but you see the little rose so that one I could glue on to this rose um, the vase um, like the brace or accent ones that I did or and there's some larger ones that I did with extra pages from a book but that is one of the options that you have okay, our second rose is one that is folded it is four bits of paper that start as squares what do I do here? Ha. I might have mucked, mucked this up, but you start with four squares and you fold it three times. So you have your square, fold it like a um, triangle three times to where you get down like this. And then you're going to trace a sharp um, petal shape here, whatever size you want that, and you cut them all out the same. So you're going to have four of them. You cut this one out, use that as your template, trace or cut. And you nip a teeny bit off of the bottom edge as well and then when you get done you're going to have four petals when you open them up it will have eight segments and what you do with those is you take one of them and you remove one square or segment that is here's our one segment one keep both parts two segments three segments and four the only thing that you will not need is that second four you can set it aside I have already pre-rolled these which is with a pencil and curled them some and what we're going to do now is turn these into a it'll be a stacked rose so I've got the one first that has one segment missing I'm going to put a little bit of glue on one of those segments I'm going to overlap 
just like that and hold. Hot glue. All right, now we're going to do the one with two segments. I'm going to do it the correct way this time and do it with the petals. The flare going outward. I realized what I did on that one as soon as it glued because we want it to be open and not closed in. So it'll be more like a, a tulipy floral um, fluted shape. Not like this one. I just boo booed that up. Let me open it. Pop that glue part. It's forgiving because it will be covered up. And we're going to glue it this way. Just a little bit. I don't want that fluted look. That's better. Please forgive me. All right, so now we have the two. We're going to go to the one with three segments. Overlap and hold. Hot glue is super fast. The four. And y'all probably see where this is going as far as the size is getting a little smaller for each one and then they're going to nestle inside of one another. When we get to these small ones it does require a little bit of rolling of the paper and it isn't a full segment overlap. Like this one is going to be about a half. And I'm just going to shape that a little bit so it's like a teeny little concave flute. This one will be a little bit less even. We're almost ready to layer our rows. So I'm going to roll this one in. It's really hard not to get glue burns. Just like that. And don't burn me. You see that baby fluted. Now the last one is the single petal. I'm going to pre-roll it just so it'll be ready for the hook in it. And it makes a tiny little center of the rose. So then you just lay them on top of each other, um, turning them, angling them to where you see a rose shape you like. Maybe we should do that one. Just a teeny bit. So we've got the largest one, which was the single. And I'm going to stack them inside of each other with a little bit of glue on the base of the one that's going to nestle inside of the other. So this one to this one. I'm going to turn it just a little bit so those petals are offset. I'm going to go to the next one. Again, offset and petals just a hair. This one. that. One more. Have dreams. Oh no, two. Have dreams. Okay. we have that rose layered inside of each other and then we have this teeny quilled rose. So there's some different variations to this with the petal. You can do a wave or whatnot. Um, you can decorate your um, vase. I've got a different style on there that you can find um, how to do that one. Um, this is one of our larger four square size roses and then um, Make it your own and do the colors you like or whatnot. Um, hope you enjoyed. So you can do your, your rose any size paperback that you want. And it will last a long time. And it's great for a little added a touch in your house. I hope you enjoyed this. And check out our website, ccplonline.org, for the blog and other videos of other activities. Thank you. Bye-bye.